It's uh, Nick, Halling, uh, Nick Halling and Jim Watt, first MC, John McDonald. Hello and a very warm welcome to the Phones for You Arena here in Manchester, England. Eddie Hearns Matram Sport proudly presents a night of World Championship Boxing. Sponsored by 888 Sport, Sports Direct and Lonsdale and VIP Auto Sales. We are live on Sky Sports, continuing to bring you the very best ringside seat in the business. And a very warm welcome to the millions of viewers joining us live in the USA on AWE, a wealth of entertainment. All the officials have been appointed by the governing bodies, the WBA, WBO, the Commonwealth Council, all in association with the British Boxing Board of Control. Supervised by our Hayes, our inspectors are Chief Inspector Steve Furness, Inspectors Barry Corson, Ased Kershre, Peter Humphreys, Ian Craig and Alan Ulster. Our doctors at ringside are Dr. Lamb, Dr. Runny, Dr. Bunstone and Dr. Pinkney. We'd like to get the action underway then. Six rounds of boxing, international super middleweight contest. Introducing to you firstly, He's fighting out of the red corner around the black trunks, trimmed with a grey, weighed in at 12 stone, 9 pounds, 1 ounce, 54 fight record, 43 wins, 18 inside, the scheduled distance, 10 losses and 1 draw. He comes to the ring as the former French middleweight champion and European title challenger. From for me in France, it's Francois the Warrior Bastien! And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing a grey trunks trimmed with blue. Weighed in at 12 stone, 3 pounds, 5 ounces. Undefeated, 9 contests, 9 wins. 7 inside the scheduled distance. Comes the ring as the reigning undefeated English and WBC international super middleweight champion from Liverpool. Mondo, Callum Smith. Time given the bell is Andy East of Warrington and our referee in charge of the action is Mr. Alvin Finch. This is six three minute rounds. Okay, you both know the rules. Defend yourselves at all times, obey my commands at all times. When I say break, I want you to step back cleanly, but you know hit behind the head, no kidney punches, touch gloves, good luck. Good to see Callum Smith back in action. We've missed him since October because this guy is fun, he is excitement, and he is a knockout machine. Had hand problems. Has a fight lined up next month in Cardiff against uh, Tobias Webb Round one. with his English title on the line. And he's up against uh, a Frenchman here, Francois Bastion, who came out of a, a two year retirement last month. Normally boxes at middleweight and uh, he certainly piled on the pounds in the last couple of years, let's put it that way, because he's actually uh, outweighing Callum Smith. But he's durable and he's a survivor, and uh, looking through his record, Jim, three stoppages against his name, but all of them were on cuts, so he's not going to get blown away easily. No, and he's mixed in decent company over the years. I think the big problem is that he is that his best days were as a, a middleweight, and he's well above the middleweight limit tonight. But you can see the experience he has, a nice tight guard, he's obviously done some homework on Smith. He knows that some body shot is going to be unleashed in his direction, so he's keeping the elbows nice and tight. The chin low, just trying to get close. But, uh, I mean, uh, Smith had a nice bit of momentum in his career, he boxed uh, seven times last year. It's a pity about the injury, because I think they're ready to move him. And this is, you know, this is good to come back uh, from injury. This is a fight you should win, should win well. And you can just shed any little bits of rust that's gathered. And that incredible streak, of course, Callum Smith. Six first-round knockouts, which is a, a British record, unofficially. Probably could do with a few rounds here, just to get rid of some of that rust, as you say, because as exciting as it, and, and as promising as he is, he's boxed 20 rounds. That's it, as a professional. In contrast... The Frenchman has boxed over 320, so I don't, I don't think Callum Smith would mind if this fella can take a few punches. But there's those hooks to the body. Callum Smith is a wicked hooker to the midsection. Yeah, you can just see him raising the tempo there, Smith. It's probably an idea to try to encourage 
Bastion to, to throw some punches. He has a tight defence to chin down nice and low, but he looks vulnerable when he lets his own punches go. So maybe, you know, invite some punches to come and then counter. Nice digs with the left hook to the body. It's his signature shot. Bastion so far has absorbed everything into that ample torso of his. I know there's a long way to go for Smith, but he does look a special talent. I mean, he, the, the way he delivers these punches are perfect. You know, and the, the fact he's so tall, but he's so good up close with the short punches, the hooks, the straight shots, he seems to have it all. Well, it's interesting listening to James DeGale on ringside a couple of weeks ago, and he was obviously talking about the British super middleweight scene, and he identified Callum Smith as one that's coming up on the rails. Well, he's recognised it. But uh, the Frenchman, as expected, is showing some grit and some toughness, and has heard the first bell. Have you discovered Karcher pressure washers? Whatever the outdoor cleaning task, with a Karcher pressure washer, you'll have it done in no time. What's more, we have the right accessory for every job. The Karcher pressure washer. Rediscover your home. The chase is on for the official licensed sticker album for the 2014 FIFA World Cup from Panini. On sale now. Short on that body shot, it's hitting there. You've just got to reach a little bit more, but when you do, keep that tight there. All right, dress it up, right uppercut, left up, and then bring it in. Jab after it. Yeah, well, the corner are taking this one nice and seriously, as they should do. This fella's experienced and he's tough. Seconds. But there's some terrific body shots landed from Smith in the opening round, and they have to start taking their toll here. Seconds up. Round two. Round two of this six rounder, then. I mentioned earlier that uh, Callum Smith in action. Next month against Tobias Webb, I think I mentioned that was the English title, it's not, it's the WBC International belt on the line there. That's the belt that's already got Callum a world ranking with that sanctioning body. Maybe the first of a few world rankings Callum is going to accrue over the next couple of years. Well, I was thinking, you know, the, when Bas Young throws punches, he's more vulnerable. So Smith, uh, just standing off at the beginning of this round, uh, maybe just trying to draw some leads from him. This is clever. One of those hooks to the body. Bastion looks like he can soak some of this up. They do have a common opponent, Kirill Zonko, who... Uh, Callum Smith got rid of in a round in that uh, six-win streak of his. He went the distance with Bastion Zonko, which really illustrates the difference in power between the two. Well, this is a good effort from Bastion. You know, he's come to earn his money. I mean, he doesn't look in, in the greatest of shape, but he's giving it a go. He's letting some decent punches go. He landed a couple of decent shots in the opening round. And he's taken the fight to Smith, so that this is good. This is what we want to see Carl Smith in fights where it has to work to get the victory. We don't want too many one-round jobs. We felt that one really walked onto one there, Bastion. And Carl Smith has sensed it as well and is putting a little assault together here. And again, Bastion doing a pretty decent job of staying out of trouble. He's still absorbing a couple more of those hooks to the body, but he left himself open there, Bastion. And Callum Smith pounced on him so quickly, and he's feeling this now, the Frenchman. Yeah, the body shots are taking their toll, and you can see the legs are unsteady. He's breathing heavily. Not the fair. If Smith just keeps this pace going, he can get him out of there. You mentioned a company that Sebastian had kept in the past, Sebastian Sylvester. Boxed him for the European middleweight title, went the distance. Smith really picking some sharp shots here. Again, working the body, both fists. I mean, credit to Bastion, he's not just covering up, you know, he's trying to come back with his own punch, he's trying to get a bit of power into the shots. So, you know, he's putting up a show, but really he is outgunned here. He's making 
making sure that Alvin Finch recognises that he got hit round the back of the head there, but the referees let it go. And it's been strictly one-way traffic this second round. Ever since he landed that nice counter, Callum Smith, Pastor left himself open and really paid for it. Very one-sided three minutes, that. Took a bit of a pounding the longer that round went on, Jim. Yeah, Bastion, he deserves credit for the fact that, that he's giving it a go. He's not just soaking up the, the punches in his arms, he's trying to come back with his own punches. But the longer this goes, the more one sided it's becoming. And uh, Callum Smith is walking straight up to Bastion and doing pretty much as he pleases. Round three of this sixth rounder, and they're uh, taking their time to say the least in the Bastion corner. The 54 fight veteran just grabbing an extra few seconds there. Coming out with a little show of purpose at the start of this third round. Didn't get much success though. We've got so many questions still unanswered about Callum Smith. We just don't know the answers yet because we've not seen it. But what's he like when he's put under pressure? What's he like on the back foot? Can he take a shot? Sooner or later we're going to have to have some of the answers. Yeah, well, if there are any chinks, I certainly haven't spotted them as yet. I think he looks a special talent. He's taken a couple of good thumps from Bersong here as well, uh, to the side of the head, but, you know, just standing his ground and coming back with better. This is, again, a good shot. Oh, a shot. Wicked, Two. wicked shot. He's destroyed Bersong. He's looked at his corner, got up at seven. Wow, that is bravery. And the gum shield has come out as well. That is experience. But that body shot, I thought it had wiped him out. Goodness knows how he got up. Well, he's been targeting the rib cage. That looked uh, from an angle that it caught him in the, the solar plex. Yeah, the the towels towels that, that's a good shout for the corner. Yeah, that absolutely, he is. Allowing this to continue. That punch took everything out of him. And while we're looking at Callum Smith, he's on one knee, the Frenchman, in the corner, in, in, in the middle of the ring there. Now he's got up, doubled up in pain. Well, it was extraordinary that he got up at all because that single body shot would have destroyed pretty much anybody. Still yeah. feeling his midsection, Bastion. Yeah, we'd like to see that one again. As I say, most of the body shots Smith was throwing around behind the elbow trying to catch the rib cage. That one looked to go right up th through the middle and catch him on the solar plexus. Maybe we'll see it here. Terrific punch. Yep, there it is. Straight up through the middle. Beautiful punch. And when a fighter crumbles, most of the floor, uh, you have to give him full credit that he go back up again. But to the corner, made a very wise decision. It was one way traffic already, no point in allowing it to continue. And a terrific little tool sharpener for Callum Smith, and a terrific punch to finish. And I wonder if somewhere down in South Wales, Tobias Webb is watching this because he's up next for Callum Smith, and on this evidence. The Callum Smith that we were enjoying so much last year is back with a vengeance as well. There goes the towel. Eight straight stoppages. And Jim, that's the first time I think that Bastion has been stopped without it being eye damage as well. That's how significant this was for Callum Smith. Yeah, it was a terrific performance from Smith. Terrific from start to finish. Can't fault that. Ladies and gentlemen, Timekeeper Andy East has recorded a time of one minute and ten seconds of the third round. Bastian's corner have retired their boxer, accepted by the referee. Therefore, your winner, and still undefeated, from Liverpool, Mundo Callum Smith. So, Callum Smith has got our evening off, as we expected. He's got rid of a very game and willing Frenchman there. And once again, I think a lot of people will be talking about this fella after this performance.